watching the 365 Data Use Cases, a great initiative by 365 Data Science, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am Susan Walsh, I'm the classification guru and a fixer of dirty data. I specialise in spend data classification and that is my favourite data use case that I am going to share with you today. So first of all, what is spend data classification? Well, it's done within generally procurement or finance departments and it takes a list of everything that that organisation has bought from a supplier over a certain period of time and it will have the supplier name and normally an invoice description of the goods that they've bought. So that can be things like Staples as a supplier and they've bought pens, pencils, paper, paper clips, etc. Or it could be if you're in manufacturing, it could be um, that people have bought a uh, nuts, bolts and screws and that's what's listed. So then what happens is I take that file and I normalise it first of all. So I take all the suppliers and standardise them to one term. And the reason I do that is most of the time organisations don't actually know how much they're spending with one supplier. And the reason that is is you might have different divisions or different countries and you have all that data together. So it's all in different formats. So a really great example is IBM. It's IBM, IBM Inc, IBM Limited, I.B.M. There are loads of different variations. So they would all be standardized to just IBM. And then I'll go through and I will classify the data using a taxonomy, which is uh, basically a table with a level one, two, three, possibly a four and a five. And it will be the a set of um, classifications that I will use in the data set. So for example, staples again, if it's um, paper, it would be facilities might be level one, office supplies might be level two, and then paper might be level three. And I'll go through and classify that. And the reason that that has to be done is um, there are lots of ways to describe the same product on invoices descriptions. And screws are a great example of that. There's screw, screws, SCR, SCW, SCWS. There's loads of different versions. So what that means is I can go through and show a company exactly how much they're spending on each product. And what's the benefit of that? Well, it means that cost savings, first of all. So maybe they don't realise how many screws or bit or paper they're buying and actually realise that they could be negotiating better rates with their suppliers. Or maybe they can see that actually, oh, supplier A is charging us this, but supplier B is charging us that, so we need to start using supplier A more. And the other thing is, it can also show you um, how many suppliers per category you have, and you might not know that. And why is that important? Well, basically, you might have like 20 suppliers for office supplies and you don't need that many. You could be negotiating a better rate with two or three suppliers that you have. So that is a whistle-stop tour of spend data classification. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can find me on LinkedIn, Susan Mosh Classification Guru. I also have a YouTube channel, The Classification Guru, where you can find more resources on classification, taxonomy, normalisation. And yeah, please get in touch if you have any questions and please subscribe to the 365 Data Science channel as well. Thanks for your time.